ask you um, if you can just talk briefly um, about how they say that a man can have four wives. Can you just, um, because it does sound very sexist, so I just was wondering if you can talk about that. <laughs> it's a little bit off the subject. The lady would like to know how can a man have four wives. I think it's a little bit off the subject. You'll answer that, okay. Well, the shake will answer you, even though it is a little bit off the topic. <laughs> now, this is the pet question. You know, when the Arabs, when they go to America or to Britain, the Westerner says, You come from Saudi Arabia? I said, Yes. So, how many wives have you got? <laughs> <laughs> How many wives have you got? So my friend, a Bakr, not a Bakr, Karim, Karim Billade, a young man, he says, you see, when he goes to America, when the Americans pose this question to him, he says, he says, he says, look, I've got only one wife. But this is a solution to your problem. This polygamy is a solution to your problem. You see, sir, you have a problem. You have in your country 7.8 million more women than men. If every man in America got married, there will be still 7.8 million women who will not be able to get husbands. And we know every man will never marry. Men get full feet for so many reasons. You know that? I meet a young man. How old are you? He says, 35. Are you married? He says, no. I say, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Do you need a doctor? Shall I take you to the doctor to find out? You know? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Come on. He said, there is a friend of ours. You know, he's got a daughter, good looking, well educated, good family. Come. So right. He's right. I take him along, and when he comes to the crunch, he finds some excuse to back out. He knows the reason. He won't tell me. That maybe at the back of his mind, he won't make the grave man. You know, he has done so many abuses, he's finished. That guy, so he finds excuse for not doing that. Man, 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 man gets cold feet for so many reasons. But Muhammad, you know, somebody to give them protection. They don't mind a husband. They don't mind a husband. Even if they're frigid, they're cold. They don't mind somebody to give them protection. I'm telling you, this is the psychology of women. But we know. Every man will not yet. If, even if every man got married, there will be 7.8 million women without husbands in America. And of the manpower they have there, there are 25 million sodomites. You call them gays. None of 25 million women can't get husbands. <laughs> then your prison population, 98% are males. Your prison population, 98% are males. I said, your problem is getting compounded. Islam offers you a solution. You laugh at us. I said, the laugh is on you. The laugh is on you. Islam says, marry women of your choice by twos and threes and fours. But if you cannot do justice between them, marry only one. The only religious book on earth. The only religious book on earth which has the statement, marry only one, is the Quran. There is no other book, religious book on earth, which has such a statement. The Quran says, marry only one, if you can't do that. <laughs>